Iron was impaled, so uh, yeah. I have to try to do that yanking out thing. Rah. Yank him up in three. Uh, you must succeed athletic as a letter, lesser action. Difficulty three plus armor rating. So well, let's see if he can actually yank his weapon free. Or uh, if it's just too stuck in there. Is it my armor rating? Your armor rating, yeah. Yep, okay. your armor rating plus three. So uh, right. it's not easy to do what it to you... someone like you. He just succeeds. Oh, he succeeds. He just <laughs> managed to pull three. Like, ah, so much metal. <laughs> this uh, screaming God. metal. How much damage do I think? Uh, it doesn't look uh, like well, any, though. A success, success three. will be one. Yeah. And every additional degrees does the damage again, yeah. uh, which is one degree, which is not enough because it's just stuck in armor, it seems. Mm. Yep. Uh, but he'll oh. try to do it again, because you can probably get stuck, you know? Hmm. Ow! Uh, we need to stop rolling like this. Jesus Christ. That that three degrees, sense. which will impale you again. <laughs> and, of course, it will also do its 18. <laughs> Damn it, Eden Risley, pick up a crossbow and shoot them in the back. <laughs> I, I mean, right. Dorian Willow could probably poke them from the door, right? He can move up there. He's, he's fighting his own they're, people. They're fighting their own shit. So. Oh, okay. We're just not yeah. dealing with that because it will <laughs> take an even longer time and none of you are involved in it, so... I'm so sorry, Varen. Right. Well, the other the guy gets to try as well to maybe also get a thing in you. Jesus. It does. Looks like it. <laughs> Uh, just. Yeah, alright, well, that's the same rule, I so you know the gist. I'll take another injury. It's freaking boar hunt that's going on in the tower. <laughs> Spearing the boar. The thing, uh, the thing is, I can't do anything about it. Well, you can... Uh, you can Crestor move here is them. impaled as well. I can't, can't move. Shit, yeah, move. Because he has a spear in him. Like, there's no so, way? I Surely, mean, like if you, you if can you strength or something, just draw, like drag them with you into the tower. That should work, right? Well, um, I mean, if you yeah. if you if you hook a a, a incredibly yeah. strong man and he walks away with you, you can either let go or be dragged with him. Well, the problem is probably if he begins to pull, then you will just he will use his strength to rip it out of him, which will hurt yeah. him a whole damn lot, most likely. Yeah, I think it would just act like as if he was pulling it out. He uh, looks could... to Keese because he needs help. Uh, he looks out, doesn't like the whole thing about the crossbowman, but is. Uh, oh, won't he just get stabbed as well, actually, by these guys? Well, no, because they're impaling him. One of them is, what? anyway. Yeah. Uh, actually, it was their turn, too. I forgot. Yeah. So the other guy will try to stab, uh, stab Keese. Maybe he can, he can kill two, two people here. That would be uh, very nice. That's an impaling on him, too. The other guy up here will try to uh, to rip his one three free. Uh, which he will do. Dealing two degrees worth of damage to Prester. Which is not a lot. Uh, but it might be enough for him to try to step him again. And pierce him again. In addition to dealing... A, uh, a nice amount of damage, which will actually make uh, Mr. Preston here take an injury to reduce that a little bit. I think it's time for you guys up there to start trying to shatter the pikes. Baron? Can I shatter the pikes? I believe there are rules for shattering weapons, yes. Uh, let's see here. Shattering the only thing I can do, so... <laughs> shattering weapons... Shattering weapons. Something advanced, I know that much. <clears throat> Definitely advanced rules. Attacking objects, breaking them, smashing them. Smashing weapons. Let's see. Instead of attacking, you can attack the weapon with a fighting, uh, fighting roll. But all the attacks as normal against your weapons, defense, uh, all the weapons difficulty, whichever is greater. You reduce the difficulty by your weapon's damage multiplied by your degree of success as usual. I don't think there's any tables to detail like weapon, weapon difficulty, difficulty ratings, so it might just be the first combat defense unless you make those up on the fly. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means, but uh, let's just use the, the, the defense for now. There's like a thing somewhere, I'm sure. We will we'll figure that out later. It seems fair for now to do that on pikes that are stuck in you. 
Alright, so just a fighting test then. Yeah. With a bonus dice from Polarm, I'm guessing. Sure. It's your weapon of choice to break it. I mean, I mean yeah. you're hacking it with the Polarm. So it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, that does hit. And let's say the breaking point is 2 degrees. So that will smash this guy. Uh, I'll just call it disarmed, because they'll remember that that's his, pick, the, his pike that's broken. Yeah, so one of them is now. Yeah. Just, yeah, all right. Yeah. Smash the end of it by the, like, uh, point. All the yellow guys are dead. Red here. Have a new target. Uh, someone has barreled in front of everyone, so... Just for curious, like, did Eric and like, did the Iron Taker just stand there being impaled? Just want to make sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, they can I guess. Uh, well, we'll do that with them too. Then. Uh, he does get his bonus dice actually. This because he's not trying to wound people. So I'll just roll that. Anyway. Not trying to wound the bike. <laughs> I will wound it. Cut off its limbs. Uh, there we go. Which he does, I guess. <laughs> Disarmed. I think at this point I will copy that word. And uh, Prester is going to try that too. Shatter them off. With a mole. It will hurt. Well, you know, it will hurt, but it's better than just standing there with a spear in you. Yeah. Now, Alaric can see if he can get hit by these guys. Sure. You won't fight that big a shield again, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Two or two Five dollars. That is two. You, you know, I I'll use my uh, my anointed for the right, day. So for this turn, you'll we'll have plus five. So, so that I am a knight. Degree, which does you nothing. Degree. Yeah. Do, how do you how do you like how is the, does that look on the battlefield? How does it sound on the battlefield when Alaric invokes this? Well, I'm not sure if he's really talking because this is you know he's. Fighting with just grim determination. This he's so fucking outnumbered. He's uh, he just seems to be focusing a lot on defense, and then in precise moments he'll yeah, he lashes out, and uh, so far has killed every person he has lashed out at. I suppose it, for his anointed thing, he is fighting next to his sponsor, the person who guided him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The team. It's 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 I think like a devotion. Anointed after all this is a godly devotion, but maybe that's not as much for Alaric as for many other anointed knights. <laughs> it's in the spirit of the house to not be yeah. that godly. <laughs> for the dishonored maiden <laughs> <laughs> this guy here will, uh, will try to strike it uh, strike it Ashra. Breathe in flames. He does have a shield now. Star, yeah. he does have a shield that can begin to uh, not break, actually, because that's very hard when he, uh, hard to hit when he has a shield. He doesn't care for that. Damn it. And these guys are now at least all dead. Bree. Bree's not He's sprinting uh, downstairs. Pretty out good. Of her. <laughs> uh, she is going to use a greater action to catch her breath, rolling an automatic right. endurance test to uh, recover points of damage. <sighs> That's right. She catches her breath from her like slight gash in her shoulder from the pikes. Uh, woo! Mm. Oh, man. That is epic. Good two. thing that uh, that's, that's two degree success. Two points of health. Spring break. Yeah. <laughs> that's my turn. All right. Well, just a lay good here. This, yeah, be pretty good as it turns out. You'll look out the door. Does Alaric seem to be needing help? He's, he's okay, isn't he? I mean, he looks alright. Alright. For now. Well, if he looks alright, I mean... <laughs> he's not exactly sure calling he's for help. He's with pikes and axes, you know. and he's like, oh! <laughs> Those are he's just by surrounded by weapons. It's this southern, southern strike has been broken, really. Tom sort of looks out and says, uh, they'll, uh, I'm sure they'll call if they need us. It's down, opens a bottle. <laughs> oh. We're the worst team right here, guys. She looks to Bree, not really saying a whole lot to her, because she's a little impressed, you know? Again, so, but 
He still kind of feels like he has to protect her. It's an awkward feeling. He hasn't been in this position before. Bree hands like like what these veteran mercenaries were they carrying shields and Donald just broke. Oh yeah. Bree points down at like one of the shields. Look at Donald. Pick one up. Look at it. Look at the look at the dumb, dumb like sigil on it instead of you know. It's it'll, it'll do. It'll do. Yeah. Just holds it. These guys here. Ren is close, but not too close. This guy's disarmed though, so he'll go for Ren. Dragging instead of taking out his uh, his hand axe, which he's far less capable with. But uh, no, that does not hit Ren. No. Maybe it would. Stonish freak. Uh, this guy will try <laughs> the to uh, just stab. Freak. <laughs> just stab. Right, hard, you yeah. are my target. <laughs> Uh, Ashra is not impaled because it guy died. Oh. He'll try to stab at Ashra. Don't you dare stab at Ashra. I love that guy. God damn it! Oh, that is only two degrees, though. Not impaled. A tiny, tiny bit of damage to Ashra. Yay, shield! Yep. <laughs> this guy will stab at Alaric. <laughs> Keep it like shouting up, pick up a shield! It's like, oh, right, 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 right. do it. Alright, two degrees. We'll, uh, we'll do. The uh, twelve points of damage, but not. At all. Not impale me. No. I'll take that one point of damage on the chin. These guys are a little too close for their liking. They'll draw their hand axes. Yes. This guy too. This guy will like move away a little bit. See if he can get in range of someone. He can stab at Ashra, so he'll do that. Oh, man, you... yeah, finally. And, uh, that will do nothing to Ashra. This guy will attack with his hand axe. It's Ren. This guy against Alaric. The other guy <laughs> against Alaric. Their hand axes. They that's not they're not very good at that, as it turns out. That's not what they do. Alaric. Um yeah, there's a lot of guys around him. Um but it turns out that Alaric's only really good at attacking people within range, and you know, he wants to defend his mentor, so He's going to attack this dude. Uh-huh. Um, like, using his incredible height to, like, attack over the pipe. We're like, out of my yeah. way! <laughs> I mean, they, they duck and move. Don't <laughs> like, yeah. that is not like they do they? <laughs> He's just, like, <laughs> cut down. Bodies everywhere in here. It's blood splattered all over. Ash, mm-hmm. like, a few puncture holes in his armor where, like, halves of spears stick out still. <laughs> No Punched bad. over a little bit, you know. Not a lot, but, you know, he's injured. Ren. Okay. Why do you have a minus two to your armor reading? Uh, the, the minus two is not specific to my armor reading. That's to remind me that's minus two uh, armor check penalty. Oh, like, okay. Uh, yeah. But to but say, like, I don't think you've been hit for two degrees by uh, by anyone. That, that just that's just reminded what my penalty to like agility is. He has right, never yep. been hit for two degrees by anyone. Yes, I have. Right, but, I have. Yeah. It hurt a lot. Um, That's why you have armor now. Mm-hmm. Well, well, Ren is going to go ahead and first stab at the mercenary pikeman to his self, who insulted him. Sure. By attacking him with an axe. It's more, it's more the verbal insult. Uh, that was a bad roll. That is yes. two degrees. That is 12 damage. I don't think he actually speaks with the Rossi, but... <laughs> True. Yeah, it's fine. Well, these damage. guys, these guys probably do. Uh, some of them okay. probably are Mr. Rosie, though they are. They've been working basically in the disputed lands. Uh, I mean, Baron did that too. He was Mr. Rosie. Yeah, yeah I, I just assumed they were from. And one of the first cities. Um, considering Freaks. that, considering the only people whose optimal range oh, he's uh, in currently. How much damage was that again? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Degrees. Doesn't kill him. Yeah. Uh, so considering these two are the only two in his optimal reach right now. Well, he's in the optimal reach of, I should say, more precisely. Everyone else has got their poles way over him. Yep. He's going to go ahead and move to here. That doesn't really help them, as it turns out. Ashra will uh, strike at the one that is close to him. Uh, bolster it, perhaps, by, by Lorik's continued presence. Yes. We'll strike at that guy. And kill him. 
It's the attack here, and the uh, it's beginning to lose steam. Given. Okay. Well, uh, the question is, what is most dangerous? Is it these? Uh, is it the breakers? These two, or is it the uh, the the pikemen back here who still can pike things? The pikey pike things would be the issue. Yeah, definitely the pike. The pikey pike things? Yeah. They're probably gonna get out their access now though. That Kevin is there. I mean, Ren. Ren. So, so maybe. Ren. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah maybe this guy. That guy, yeah. And. Uh, and then one of the others. Yeah, but sure. if they Whoops. get their hand axes out, they can't hit Ren. Like yeah. physically they, cannot. But they they can right now because they have great defense. They can oh, hit. Uh, what is this? What's this guy poking Ashra? Uh, no, he's fighting Ren. Okay. okay. That only three, him poke. These three have the pikes, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's, let's let's begin with Pikeman Five then. Sure. We can uh, we can give him the what for. Yeah, and in cover in there, but uh, you're pretty good. Okay. So two degrees. Uh, that would be a sixteen. Sixteen damage is enough. Okay. Thunk. Uh, and then, uh, anyone of the others, do, do they look like they're still, like, going to poke Ashra, or are they... They look like they're going to leave uh, oh. right now. They, like, this is too much blood right now, and they can't use their pikes, and people are in their face, and it doesn't sound like it's going to create on the walls either, so... Mm -hmm. they, they, they don't really like... And they did hear someone scream, like, f about fire, and they've had quite enough of that recently, so... Uh, uh they, they don't want to... Yeah. Same with these? Uh, yeah. Uh, though, I mean, yeah, they've pretty, pretty much lost morale. Though, of course, the veterans are a bit more steeled, probably. Okay. Uh, uh, let's, if any of the veterans are hurt, visibly, uh, Kevin will shoot for, for that person. If not, uh, he will go for uh, mercenary. Right. Shoot him. Do it. I'm doing it. Thunk. Two degrees. All right, that is another 16. Is these guys actually the more tough? So he does survive that barely. Hey, uh, Jonas, a double shot just gives you a penalty die, right? You're still allowed to roll your full marksmanship. You just take a penalty die. Uh, I suppose that's true. I've done it horribly wrong then. <laughs> You're He's basically missing out an extra test or an extra bonus die the entire time, essentially. Well, we'll say this guy is dead then, probably. But uh, from now on, I guess you're buffed. I guess so. This guy's <laughs> disarmed. Uh, Axe. This guy yeah. is not. So he can still stab at Farron. But well, he has to put it out, sadly. Oh, is Farron? He is, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm in pale. Didn't remember yeah, that. Both of them were in pale, at paling him. Yeah, so now I have right. one sticking out and broken and one. Let's see if he can pull it out at all then. The last time he sort of failed at that. No, it didn't. Yeah, they got uh, it right. He still okay. can't no, no, it pull it out. So I guess he just stands there with it, sort of pulling it, uh, yeah. while the <laughs> other guy climbs down from the wall. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> See you later. Uh, like, nope. I fucking don't want to do this anymore. It's dumb. Stupid. <laughs> it's dumb and stupid. <laughs> These guys up here, they don't really feel fighting without their weapons. They're they're out too. It's dumb and All stupid. Right. <laughs> Falls back a little bit. He will, uh. He will try to catch his breath. Oh, actually, it's pointless to roll that now. Because, uh. Did their thing. Two. Look at. Look at Varen. Yeah. I will try to smash the other one. Alright. Yeah, you succeed. Alright. Break the other one. Now, with the pike sticking out of me, that's broken. Yeah. Down Great. here. This guy understands that he can't really easily get away, so he will side or hit at Alaric. Two. Two degrees. Well, he will he'll smash your, your defense, your shield for two damage, and then deal eight to you, which doesn't get through your armor. Okay. Three. I'm not moving, so I presume we're out of the fighting, too. Yeah. Well, that's true. So we just have fighting down here. These guys are uh, going to leave. I think... What